Okay, we've got this question where we've got a survey of 100 students in New College, New England College. So our universal set is going to be the students at New England College. That's this rectangle here. We've got English, History and Language. So let's label our sets up. There's English, there's History, and here's the language. First piece of information. Now, we've got seven, take English, History, and the language. So let's put that in. 7 takes all three of those. Then we've got 17 take English and History. So here's English and History. So this overlapping group here, there's 17 in it. So we need to take 7 off because we've got all three has 7. So that leaves 10 that are only English and History. 15 take English and a language. So there's 15 in this group here, English and a language. So take off 7 and we are left with 8. And 18, take history in a language. So 18 in this group, so take off 7, leaves you 11. 48, take English. So there's 48 in this circle here. Take off the 8, gives us 40. Take off 10, gives us 30. Take off 7, leaves us 23. And we've just done that. So 49, take history. 49, take history. Let's take off the 10s. 39, take off 7 is 32, take off 11 leaves us 21. In this one, there's 38 um, doing a language, so let's take off this 8, that gives us 30, take off 7, that leaves us 23, take off 11 leaves us 12. Now, we have 100 altogether, so let's see how many there is not doing any of these subjects. So let's start off with the biggest number. So we've got 49 taking history. So let's ignore the history. So that leaves us 51 to go. So take off 8. That takes us down to 43. Take off the 3, 40. Take off the 20. That is 20. Take off the 12. Leaves us just 8 who aren't doing any of these subjects. So how many take history but neither the other two? Let's just choose a different colour for this, so it makes it easier for us to see what's going on. So I'm going to use a bit of red. So take history, but neither of the other two is 21 here. So we've got history is 21, because this lot take English and this lot take language. We just want this history. OK, take English and history, but not a language. So take English and history but not a language, we don't want this. So the group we've got take English and history, but not another language, is these 10 here. Okay, we don't want the seven there. So that's 10. Take none of the three. Well, it's everything outside, which is eight. Take exactly two of the three. So exactly two of the three, well, that's gonna include that 10, because there's two there, because I've got English and history. So I'll just underline that. Actually, what we'll do, we'll just Get ourselves um, a different colour again. So we've got 10 there. We've got 8 here just doing English and language, and 11 here just doing language and history. So that gets us 29. And then do not take a language. Well, the easiest way to work out that those do not take a language, well, we know the total that took a language was 38. So those that don't take a language is 100 minus 38, which is 62.